What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Shai for those of you who are new here and I do videos on vlogs, lifestyle, a little bit of everything. So if you're interested in a little bit of everything, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm actually getting ready to go out and celebrate my friend's birthday. Angela, if you're watching this, I love you. I'm worth. And um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do my makeup. I want to do like a little get ready because I haven't sat, well, it feels like I haven't sat down in front of the camera and talked to you guys for like like a while, but I have in a way. I don't know. Like those of us who do YouTube, I always feel like we say that a lot because sometimes we don't pick up the camera for a couple days, but... I swear, every time I film, it was peaceful and quiet and now look at this. Okay. I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. I need to film because I want to film and I'm not going to let a noise stop me. So I kind of have like what I'm wearing already. I'm just wearing a simple black top. It is so, so hot in Florida. I'm just going simple. I, I did want to put on makeup, but I'm going to, again, very, very simple. You guys know me. I hate putting on a lot of makeup. My little bracelet is from Soli Luna. My little ring, don't know where. Um, necklace is Ana Luisa. So yeah, we're just gonna get ready. And also, I wanted to show you guys my freaking nails. Are you guys seeing this right now? Who am I? Who is she? Guys, I did this by myself. I get acrylics, like, is it acrylics? The, the tips? Well, like I put the dip powder on my nails. I don't know how any of that stuff works, but I do that and I wanted to kind of give my nails a little break instead of just doing them again. So when the company Madame Glam reached out to me, I was actually really excited. So I ended up getting like a bunch of little tools to like the little dotting tools, little designs. And in Dollar Tree, they actually have like nail stickers, which are these little things. Hold on, I'm not that creative guys, but I put like the little nail sticker and I was so excited about how they came out. They are super opaque super pretty so so nice i was actually really really shocked vegan and cruelty free and their ingredients are just like very simple very nice and like good for your nails and it was actually really easy to do and i was kind of shocked now the little this little fingers here i'm not like flipping you off with these little fingers here i just did it with a dotting tool that i got on amazon i'll link everything down below by the way it's not sponsored they did gift me the items but this is not like a sponsored video i just love the way my nails came out so i pushed back my cuticles I prepared the nail you always want to push back your cuticles especially like when I took mine I took off my gel nails at home like the acrylic gels and that was a whole mission let me just tell you that was a freaking mission so as I finally got the nails prepped and ready buff them out push back the cuticle I started layering on and it does say on on like the website they have like a detailed thing of how to put the nail polishes it actually says like use thin layers and honestly i just did one layer of the pink and it's super opaque now for this one i did use two layers i did have to cure it a little bit more i wanted to do like one hand one layer and then one hand another layer to kind of see how everything flowed and regardless both came out really nice i did get some on my skin there which they do say not to do but i'm gonna file it before i leave just file it down just surprised because i have gotten gel nail polishes on amazon and i've talked about them before in a previous video and for some reason they don't cure correctly i don't know if i'm doing something wrong even though i really don't think i am because look at how good these came out and i, I just it's crazy and also these are like soak off gel nail polishes so they're supposed to come off like really easily which i'm excited i'm excited to see how it comes off but i love the process love the little lamp it brings by the way about the little stickers and just in case you're curious so i put one layer down well i put the base coat then i put one layer down and then i add the little sticker and then put the top coat and i carry it and that's it and these are my nails lastly i just want to mention that i do have a coupon code for 30% off, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. And I'll link it in the comments as well for you guys to use if you are someone that likes to do your nails at home. Totally recommend these nail polishes. Let's get into the makeup. So I already moisturized my face. This is my moisturizer. If you're wondering why this is in here is because there's hardly any cream left. So what I did, I put this little brush in here to get all the cream that's in here. Cause there's still cream in here. And I'm not gonna let that go to waste. Is it ratchet? Maybe, but maybe it's smart. 
The point is, um, I'm gonna mix my cream with my foundation. I know that's weird, but you see, the thing is, is that I don't like heavy makeup. Now it's raining. I don't like to feel a lot of product on my face, let alone when it's raining and not in hot ass Florida. So I don't have time for that. I'm gonna use, look at me acting like a booty guru. This is not even the primer. This is a mascara. I have failed. Morphe, I don't know what, it's an eye primer. I have oily eyelids. You could use concealer too, but I'm just gonna use this because I have it. I might as well use it. I hardly ever do my makeup anyways, so might as well be bougie with it. Is Morphe bougie? I don't know. Who am I? Okay, so I'm just priming the lids right now. I'm actually probably gonna go on top of it with concealer and just go crazy, you know? For all my oily skin girls out there, what's the best powder for you? The best powder for me is this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I love her. Here for her. If they ever discontinue this, I'm gonna cry. I like to do my eyes first. Oh my God, that was too much. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Can you believe I got this little beauty blender that looks filthy and I swear I washed it in <laughs> Dollar Tree. It's smaller, but then when you wet it, it like expands. And I love it, it's so good. I love the little pointy tip. That sounds weird. Okay, so I'm just literally gonna be using this little Sephora palette that I have. Should I use my Morphe palette? I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and everything, and I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't wanna look crazy, but I'll, I will come back. I don't think I'm gonna put extensions in my hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it straight, basic, and hold up, I'll be right back. Okay, makeup is done, it's good. Guys, I have to show you something. Look what happened. Hold on, hold on. I was trying to unplug my blow dryer, and then that happened, and now I'm afraid to move it or touch it. What do I do? Oh my God. And Daniel's not here. Oh my God, do I touch it? I don't think it's good for me to just leave it. Oh my God. Why, why? Please, oh God, why? Why is this happening? Maybe I could just, okay, no, stop shoving it back in. Okay, if my mom doesn't answer, I'm gonna be so, mom? I have to show you something. Look. How, look. What do I do? What is that? It's my blower. Look, it like collapsed and I don't know how to take it out and I'm trying to pull it and it doesn't come out and I'm afraid I'm going to get electrocuted. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness. And that part doesn't go in? No. Like I, I pull, I was pulling it and then like this front part just came out. But I'm afraid. Is that the iron or some shit like that? It's a blower. Oh, so leave it there. What do you mean? It says not to leave it plugged in. Um. Well, if I take move? this, will I get electrocuted to pull it out? I don't think so. Don't touch anything closer. And... Ah! Okay, it worked. Oh my god. Thanks, Sam. You're a dick. <laughs> I say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to this restaurant called Little Hen. Never been there before. Um, never even heard of it, but hopefully it's good because I'm, I'm starving. Um, I'm not a huge breakfast person, but I am hungry right now. So, yeah, let's go. When the sky is filled with stars And the night is falling down Have a look at no limits between us I feel like treacherous real tonight We will come this lucky little lie I feel like I'm losing all my mind But I'll be alright, yeah
you guys but I Daniel has to wait so I'm gonna listen to Daniel and I'm gonna wait for it because I do have some news and I'm really excited to share it with you guys I had to show you guys all the juicy things that I got so okay I have so much I'm like looking everywhere because I have so many things happening right now and so much going on and everything is so messy in this room but let me okay let me get into it so first things first Michaels Michaels had a huge sale, not just for like the red, white, and blue stuff, like for July 4th and everything. No, I am talking like so aesthetically pleasing, so nice. Now, again, I always say, oh my eye, sorry. Again, I always say this, but go to different Michaels, just like I always say, go to different Dollar Trees. I always say, you know, take your time, treat yourself. So the first item was this little thing. It was originally... $25 and it was 70% off. I am not good at math, so you know you can do the math on that, but it was 70% off. And all the things I'm gonna be showing you that I got on Michaels, which is like home decor and stuff, they were all 70% off. My mom and I were shook. We went crazy, but I wanted to get this because I do wanna change up my little filming room. I have a lot of ideas planned, so I wanna change it up. But I saw this and I know I can make this literally, I believe using Dollar Tree, but it was 70% off and I loved it, so I got it. I really want to start like planting and putting more plants in my home. This was originally $14.99, so 70% off of this. I think this came up to like three or four bucks. This is so pretty, so nice, and I just love this. I think it's like a terracotta color, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, sorry, but this was just beautiful and I loved it. And I actually bought two of these because they were the last two and they are so nice. And if you don't like this color, you can always just paint over it. So I had to get this. This was just a vibe. Another thing I got, which was originally $12.99, also 70% off, was this little vase. I actually got two of these and these were also the last two. Just look at that color, so bright, so pretty. It's just like one of those accent pieces you can put in your house and put a little flower and it will look so good. So I got two of these. The next thing I got for Michaels as well is this little diffuser. I love the little jar and I love the yellow to go with the little yellow vases that I got. And then I also got this, which I know looks kind of crazy on camera and lopsided, but I swear it's super cute. So in the Dollar Tree, they actually sell Spanish, they call it Spanish moss or like moss. So I want to put the actual plant, then add moss and little rocks. And this is going to look so cute. I know you guys can't see it right now, but I swear it's it's going to look really cute. The next thing I got was a, a like picture frame. I'm going to put like a side by side shot or just like do like a cutaway shot. But the frame is so cute. It says today is the day and the colors and everything just match my vibes. You guys know I love like the blue vibes, but also I do like to throw in some pink, not a lot. The next thing I got is also a doormat. Right now our doormat is super full of like dog fur and stuff. It looks a little crazy. So I just got this one. It's really great for summer and we live in Florida. So it's summer basically all year round. So it matches perfectly. So the last thing I got from Michaels, I believe that is the last thing. It's very hard to show you this on camera, but this is a carpet. I was trying to find a picture of it online, but I couldn't, but I hope you guys, ooh, hold on. I hope you guys can see that right there. It is like a blue kind of pink print. It was originally $70, it's right here. Guys, 
I got it for like 20 bucks. And this is a big rug. Like, this is not a small rug. As you can see, like, she's thick, she's hefty, and I'm here for it. And I wanted a rug for the longest time, like, just a nice accent rug. And this was beautiful. These, so many people were grabbing these, and I, it has blue. What, what more do I need to explain? Okay, Love so I had to, like, bring everything over here because I <laughs> rearranged everything. Okay, let me go with Trader Joe's because, so I think I've said this before, like, a bazillion times on my channel, but we do not have a Trader Joe's, like, super close to us. So my mom actually went to one and she picked up a couple things. Of course, we saw it on TikTok, so we had to get it. So the first one was this lavender scrub. I've heard so many people talk about it. I can smell it like through the packaging and it smells so good. So I really can't wait to try this. It looks so luxurious, love the packaging, super cute. My mom has gone to Trader Joe's twice and we're actually going this Sunday. So I am gonna do like a Trader Joe's grocery haul and everything, hopefully. She could not find the infamous Brazilian bum bum dupe cream or whatever, but we did find this one, which is like the coconut body butter from Trader Joe's and supposedly it's really good. Now, I can smell it from the packaging and it smells fire. I love coconut personally, so if you're not a coconut person, then you're probably not gonna like this, but I can't wait to try it out to see if I like it or not. My mom got like three, cause you know, moms are crazy like that. The last two things she got me were just some hair products. I have been trying a couple things for my hair. I know that I said I was gonna put that video about my hair and I will. I'm just trying out a new shampoo right now and before I give my review on it, I really wanna like use it fully to see how I like it. So one of the things she got me was this hair mask. It has like shea moisture and like a bunch of juiciness. I've actually seen a couple people talk about it on TikTok and they've said nothing but good things. So I figured why not, might as well, YOLO. The other thing she got me was this serum. So I figured again, why not? My ends have been super crispy, you never know. And I know coconut oil and shea butter is like good for your skin, good for your hair maybe, I don't know, but we'll try it out. I also did quickly stop at Bath & Body Works. I did get a couple of wallflowers. Um, the ones, the scents that I did get, I'll go ahead and link it down below, but I did get this candle. It literally smells like a snow cone. It smells really good. It's called Blue Raspberry Snow Cone, so I cannot wait to try this. The inside is just a plain white. It would have been cool if it was like blue in the inside, but yeah, super cute. Love the way this smells. And then lastly, you already know I had to go to Dollar Tree. So a couple things in Dollar Tree that I picked up, nothing crazy, I'm like looking around. So one of the things I got was this, they say it's an ice cube tray, right? And that's fine, you can totally use it as a ice, like an ice tray. But these are also good for dog treats. These are awesome. You can make your dog treats on here and like your frozen ones and then they demold, you just press them out and they demold and you can make little dog treats. Another thing that I've learned is that when your Bath & Body Works candle is like towards the end and you can't really light it anymore but there's still wax, you can actually melt the wax and put it in here and you can create like little wax melts. Basically using your leftover wax and you just let them freeze, you pop them and then put them in your little wax melt thingy. I hope you guys know what I mean. Please let me know in the comments if you know what I mean. If not, I'll try and explain it, but it's pretty cool. Definitely recommend these. They have tons. I even have a flamingo one. Totally recommend these, especially for dog treats. I got this little container. I wanna organize my desk, and right now it's a hot mess. So I wanna organize my work desk, make it like very aesthetically pleasing. So got these pens, nothing crazy. They're like brand name, again, Dollar Tree always has a ton of these name brand items that are great for you to use. Daniel and I are gonna be starting meal prepping again on Sunday, so I just wanted something to have like my carrots and hummus, which I thought this was pretty cute. It's a very cute color, has the little container for the sauce, and then you can put your veggies, so I thought that was pretty cute. Dollar Tree also put out little containers for dog treats and stuff for when I have like leftover treats instead of having the huge bag out in the kitchen. This is pretty cute. Or if I'm on the go or traveling, I think this is perfect for the ladies. And it's a pretty good size. They're pretty cute. They come in like a navy blue and I believe like a pink. I also got this little thing because I currently have a little cart set up for my camera stuff, but I also wanna make one for my crafting things. I got a bunch of things from Amazon if you're interested. I don't know if people are interested, but I like doing like arts and crafts and stuff. So I wanted to do like a little arts and crafts cart. So I got this for all my little arts and crafts. And then you know I had to come in with the bins. Look, Dollar Tree, I love Dollar Tree, man. 
These are two for one dollar. You guys, this can go in your IKEA desk and your in your vanities perfectly. I mean, I know a lot of people like the clear color, but for me, I don't mind this blue and teal color. I I think it looks nice. It's inside the drawers. I mean, as long as it does what it's supposed to do for me, it doesn't matter. I got this for my friend Liz, and I wanted to get one too. It's a little llama to put your rings. <laughs> She's so cute. Coming in with the fall stuff. I got these little pumpkins. Anytime where I'm in the Dollar Tree and I can stock up on whether it be fall stuff or Christmas stuff, whatever it is, I get it because you know why? Chances are they're probably not gonna be there the next day. So I just got these two little pumpkins. I also did get two more, so a total of four of these little pumpkins. You can always spray paint them as well. I've seen tons of people do DIYs with these. The last thing I got from Dollar Tree is this book. It is called Mine. It's a novel obsession. He wants his wife to disappear, so do you. So I was like, ooh, crime. Also in the Dollar Tree, they've, I don't know where I put it, but they are coming out with a lot of like cookbooks and like cocktail books, which I thought is pretty cool. So that's pretty much everything that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. So if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Again, thank you so much for all your support and all my current subscribers that I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.